This is Grandmaster Boris Alterman and you're watching Gambit Guy. Oh, hello and welcome to the new series of the Gambit Guy and today we start with the one of the most interesting gambits in Sicilian defense which calls the Kasparov Gambit. So after e4, Gary Kasparov, I would say his favorite move is c5 going for the very interesting deep water of complication in the Sicilian defense after knight f3. Today, today Kasparov is using, I mean used to play also the neither variation with d6 but in his world championship match against Anatoly Karpov in 94 and 95 he used to play the different moves order just e6 d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 and immediate to play knight c6 so what is interesting is the moves order so this order allows black after knight c3 to play d6 and to avoid all this complications which could usually start in neither in case of when we play e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 and a6 so I would say today is the most popular line in Sicilian defense and neither variation just favorite line of world champions Anand and also Topalov and the top rating player today Magnus Carlsen also included this aggressive opening line in, into, the op, into his opening repertoire of course after <clears throat> the working quite hard with his new trainer the former world champion Gary Kasparov however in this a6 line so black has to be ready for moves like bishop c4 is a favorite line of the 11th world champion Bobby Fischer and also for bishop g5 one of the most aggressive opening lines in the Sicilian defense also black has to be ready for the quite modern English attack with bishop e3 then f3 then Queen d2 and then long castling which is also quite important and quite popular line even in today's practice. So the most order which, which Kasparov uh, used in his world championship match against Karpov avoiding all these complications. So let's look at it once again. e4 c5, knight f3, e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight c6 so clearly that now white cannot play move like bishop g5 because black is just simply captures bishop after queen take g5 so bishop c4 also doesn't give white any advantage after black contra-attacking the center by playing knight f6 and in case of knight c3 black immediately could answer d7 d5 or even just to Counter-attack with bishop b4, just allow, allowing black to solve all his opportunities. 